All right, what's up y'all, it's Zane, and I'm back with another video. And I just wanna make this video quick, right quick. Don't wanna waste too much of y'all time. Um, but I recently got some good news, and I did this thing, right? So I went up on my dose, I went up on my dose. I'm officially taking 100 milligrams a week. Now I've been on, which is the highest dose that my doctor will go to, which is 0.5 which is 100 milligrams a week out of a 200 milligram bottle of cyp this stuff right here cypo yeah whatever that is but i didn't been 200 milligrams but basically um i've been on it for a week and i do feel like my voice has dropped i do feel like it's making my facial hair a little thicker stuff is popping out like bro do you see that right there that wasn't there before <laughs> that wasn't there before i ain't kidding either that wasn't there before but no i do feel like since i've been on it my voice has already dropped a week now i've done each of my other doses i basically did them for a year or six months pretty much a year because august 2020 august 3rd 2020 i started with 40 milligrams a week i stayed on that dose for about a year October 2021 somewhere in there October between October and November somewhere I excuse me um, I started 60 milligrams a week um the 40 milligrams I noticed the bottom growth and slight fat dis redistribution um and slight uh sweats hot flashes whatever um uh, then in october i got on the 60 milligrams and this is where it was iffy this is when i around that time i stopped taking my testosterone between when i was transitioning between 40 milligrams and 60 milligrams i actually i think i ran out of testosterone no, i ran out of syringes one of the two and i stopped taking it for a couple of weeks started back spotting told them look i want to be on 60 milligrams let's get this started got on 60 milligrams i stayed focused and i tried to do my shot as much as i could um on time for about that i stayed on that for about a year so around 2022 uh april october april um i got on to now i didn't stay on that a year i stayed on that for about six months then it was about six or seven months that's around april that's when i got on 80 milligrams a week now i stayed on that for almost a year it hasn't been a year it hasn't even been a year i've been on that for about seven or eight months no it has been a year since i've been on 80 milligrams because that was in 2022 yeah when i started the 80 now i had a lot of hiccups with the 80 milligrams too because around last year around this time i actually stopped i don't know what it is around this time around september but last year that's when i had my no it was really august between august and september i was having trouble um taking my shot on time i kept missing weeks i kept um just it was a lot going on it was a lot going on i couldn't hardly stay consistent with this shot the dates were changing i was skips a week i was going through a lot mentally bear with me um but no i've been on 80 milligrams for about a week a year and um with the 80 i told y'all that that's when everything that's when shit really started to change 60 milligrams i felt like i had more energy uh the fat redistribution was there slight hot flashes and my body odor changed like I, I i need deodorant i need cologne i need deodorant spray there's no walking out the house without it mm -mm. no no sarsky so around 60 milligrams i noticed that change now mind you with the 80 milligrams that's where everything went through the roof um i definitely had energy i i felt it's probably because of my environment like who i was staying with that's probably why i felt all that aggression i don't know i felt so much that was the main thing i felt was a lot of aggression and it was different because i used to have the the 
hunch in my heart to cry. You know what I'm saying? But now, when I got on that, it was like, mm, I don't want to cry. I want to, I want to handle something. Like, I want to react. You know what I'm saying? I want to put my hands on somebody. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I was staying by myself and I used to get mad and punch holes in the wall and stuff like that. But I had to learn how to control that new emotion called aggression. I had to learn how to control that. Um, I had to learn how to control my mind um, because I noticed a shift in my emotions. I wasn't responding that much to my emotions, but I would overthink them. Like my thinking was crazy, like was crazy. I used to like, the way it used to be before I transitioned, I used to be able to like think about something, cry about it and move on. It's not like that. <laughs> I felt that it was like, I don't know, the chemicals in my brain, it started messing with stuff, but it wasn't like I could just cry and get over it, which sometimes I wish I could just cry and get over stuff instead of it lingering in my mind. Like it's like the shit just lingers in my head, literally to the point it feel like somebody's scratching my head or something like that. And you have to like, it makes you want to like physically react. I'm gonna just say that it makes me want to physically react so that was something that was totally different and i had to um learn how to control that but yeah i had to learn how to tame and control that like i had to learn how to control it like it was different it's a different emotion like you have to really learn how to control your emotions you can't just say anything you can't just do anything um so that was new learn how to tame that but on the 80 milligrams i went through a lot on that too um i was very on and off that dose too i think i ran out of syringes one time and then i think i um i had stopped taking i know on 80 milligrams i stopped taking it for like two weeks two weeks straight two or three weeks on 60 milligrams, it got up to three weeks because I literally ran out of testosterone for some reason. I forgot why, but I ran out. So that's why the hiccups were in my transition. But lately I've been on point with the 80 milligrams and even, well, I only took one shot of the 100 milligrams. Well, two shots. Today was my second shot. Um, But yeah, everything is just different now. But I feel like, with this dose would be a lot better. I would be able to take it on time because I have ordered those um, syringes that I told y'all about, I ordered them or whatever. They're coming soon. Um, I just feel like this this would be a lot easier now. Um, I'm in a better space. I'm in a better space in my mind. Mentally, I feel like mentally, I have grown and went through so much since I've started this transition since because when I started this transition, I also jumped into adulthood and adult life because I left my hometown. I left my state. I went somewhere totally by myself while transitioning. It's just been a lot. I've I've had my own apartment, had my own house. It's, I've been through a whole lot since this transition and I feel like I'm in a such a, a better mental space um, than I was before and I'm able to um, control my reactions, my emotions. I'm sure about, I've always been sure, but it's like my, my emotion, I don't know. We couldn't get on the same table. I was choosing between other people and myself and now it's like, it's just me. I'm gonna choose me every time. I don't care who don't like it. You can stay away from me. Matter of fact, just stay away from me. But no. Um, so I'm officially on 100 milligrams a week now. I plan on staying on, on my shots consistently and doing this consistently in the right way. Um, and not letting anything or anybody get in my way. I'm done doing that. But yeah, that's just an update. Um, I'm probably going to update y'all again. Maybe like in about a month. I may I may do maybe four weeks, maybe a month from now. I'll update y'all and let y'all know more changes that I've experienced so far on this dose. But so far, I've I have felt my voice drop a little bit, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I felt my voice drop, and my facial hair is getting a little thicker. It's starting to spread out because it's like 
it's starting to like come up here up here and then like that right there now that wasn't there before <laughs> but no it's starting to it's starting to come in more it's starting to get thicker i do use a derma roller and like beard oil i should do like a routine like a beard routine when i do do it i don't use it every day because it aggravates uh it aggravates my skin actually so i just don't use that shit every day but yeah so i'll let y'all know how that goes but that's what's been happening lately i recently went to the doctor and got on 100 milligrams and i'm officially one week on it so i'll let y'all know when i'm one month see ya in one month with a transition update